tree. You hear the birds? Oh. Hello guys, I'm back, it's Celeste. Um, today is my day off. I do work tomorrow, so this is kind of like just my one on day off. Um, but I kind of just wanted to just take you guys on my day. I have a couple things to drop off um, to deliver, and then I wanted to go to the gym and just kind of do a couple things here and there and just bring you guys along. So here I am, I'm just getting ready. Um, I had to return a package because I had bought in a bag from Amazon, like a travel bag, but I really did not like the quality of it. It didn't seem like it was made very well, so I was just returning that. And yes, it looks like we have all the same shoes. So that first pair are my Hoka's. The pair in the middle is my husband's. And then there's another set of black shoes that are also my husband's, but those are different shoes. But it kind of reminds me of that scene in SpongeBob where he opens his drawer and he's got all the same shirts in there. I was kind of struggling carrying everything, so I was walking very slow, um, but eventually I got it and I got it all loaded up. I did end up going to the gym after I dropped off that package. I didn't record any of that, but I did go to the gym and then when I got back I was pretty hungry, so that's when I decided to make myself a smoothie. After Edgar got home and we decided to go on a walk it was a very nice day um, it wasn't too cold and so we just went on a walk out in the country a little bit this was the next morning I was just prepping our meals for lunch for work usually Edgar will do this he'll package it up in the morning but this morning I did it for just the purpose of showing you guys what it is that we do I didn't get to record much of this day, it was very hectic and I truthfully forgot to record. So this was me eating my lunch and then me heading out of work. The next day um, we went to Pizza Hut for dinner. I really did not record yesterday from after work, um, but I basically just got ready for bed. And then, then it was Saturday, which you saw, we went to Pizza Hut. Here we just got some groceries and I was just putting things away, um, just like the normal. We tend to go get groceries on the weekend. We make a list of what we are going to make throughout the week and then buy those. So just cleaning up a little bit here. And then I also did buy um, like a ready to make basically a little cake mix to make some muffins because I was just honestly really craving it. So I did do that as well. You can hear TV. Um, Edgar is watching a show, but I basically um, just want to keep you guys updated. So 
this is Sunday um, today's my first day out of my three shifts in a row um, today was pretty good shift I had four patients for most of the day <clears throat> I had two patients with RSV um, and then one patient that's pretty much medically stable just waiting to get transported and then my third patient was a uh, respiratory failure with septic shock and then the end of shift I did get like a peds patient so I took over um, five patients at like midday pretty much um, and this peds had an infection in the arm hand and so just needing antibiotics and um, it was interesting too because um, she did have a allergic reaction to an antibiotic in the ER before bringing her up to the floor and so they did have to give her like steroids and prednisone just to um, what am I saying? steroids and benadryl to help with that reaction uh fortunately it didn't affect her throat she did have swelling in her face her lips and around her body but no nothing affecting the airway which was awesome but did have um fever heart rate was elevated and did have a hypotension episode so things that are very textbook um, I feel like I did see today and sometimes there's those where it's very textbook days where what I mean by textbook is that it's literally like what you think of like heart failure these are the things but sometimes they're not sometimes it's all random symptoms and things and um, but yeah so basically I got home from work today um, Edward did get us some he did take out because it's Sunday we didn't cook anything um, so we had some Greek food we ate that and then um, I still had some food from that so I put it in a container so that I can take it to lunch tomorrow so that's pretty much in the fridge tomorrow but just get it all packed up in the morning and I'll show you guys and now I'm just laying in bed
currently on my lunch break. I just had lunch. Um, and I got a little iced coffee. Um, nothing crazy. I got my same group from yesterday. So, same patients. Everything's the same. Um, yeah. Then here I was on day three, running late. So, you can see me walking, trying to get into work. Um, this day went pretty good. I did have a student that day, so it was very busy and it honestly drained me because I'm teaching and doing my job at the same time, but I'll talk about it here in a little bit. Good morning, guys. Um, just waking up after my three day shifts in a row. It's almost 11 a.m. Um, I just was so exhausted. So tired. Nobody talks about that day after day three in a row, the next day, people could call it like a hangover. I've never had a hangover, so I can't compare it, but uh, it's exhausting. It's just like a recovery day. Um, so I'm just gonna take care of myself, just um, get up, eat a little breakfast, and um, you know, just relax and shower and yeah Okay, so I'm gonna shower. Um, basically, I just made my coffee, I ate a little bit, and then I just watched YouTube for a couple hours just to relax. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and shower, and then I'm just, you can hear the laundry going, I'm washing some towels and stuff. Just kinda catching up on some house chores. Um, and then I need to go pick up my sister and take her to her dentist appointment. Um, but other than that, not much plans, but I'll take you guys along, show you guys what's happening, what I'm doing, and really what my life is like. Um, sometimes I feel like it's boring, but I mean, just going to record what I do, and because um, I know I watch people on YouTube, and they record literally just anything, so yeah. just gonna brush my hair out and then I'm gonna go um, go get my little sister spend a little time with her and my little pups that I used to live with before I moved out and um, yeah so let's do this here also guys my grandparents they they went to Mexico they left like in December and um, they just got back yesterday, so I am so happy to see them. My grandparents mean so much to me. Um, they have always been in my life, and we actually used to live like right, pretty much like a couple houses down from them. So they were always in my life, and yeah, I just feel like they've been gone for so long, and I'm like, oh my gosh. So hopefully I can see them today. Um, I'll have to go over and, and see them. So I'm excited about that. And then this weekend, I'm gonna go to Portland with my mom and my sister, because my mom has a test that she has to take over there. So we're gonna leave Friday night, <clears throat> stay the night, and then come back Saturday afternoon, most likely. Um, so, that is exciting. Um, yeah. Do you guys, like, not, at least for me, I don't ever know how to do my hair. I honestly part it, 
like over here in the middle on the other end i honestly part it all over um i don't want to part it in one spot all the time because i feel like you know if you part it too much on one side your what is it called your hairline starts to recede not recede but you know it starts to get like wider and i don't like that so i try to put it in parted in different spots if that makes sense to so that doesn't happen so we can prevent it and i think it looks pretty good like my hairline doesn't look like it's um very wide you know so i just parted everywhere guys my hair is getting so long look at this crazy i'm thinking about getting it trimmed a little bit and then i have like some um highlights i don't know if you can really see them right now because my hair is wet but i think it might need to get toned or i might have to just dye it like a little more brown on those spot those spots i kind of i am tired oh you can see it better right here i'm a little tired of these just because i feel like they start to get orangey brassy and not really a fan of that, but yes. Okay, guys, so look at this, this hair here. This might be kind of gross, but got all this hair. When I showered, there was like so much hair that came out. Um, ever since I got COVID in 2020, yeah. My hair started falling out so much, like, when I actually had COVID, like, I would shower and it would just come out, like, it would, I would do that and it would just be, like, chunks of hair would just come out, um, and I just feel like my hair thinned out so much ever since COVID, I mean, I already had really thick hair and my hair is still very thick, like, I grab it, it's, like, a whole handful, it's very thick, but it was way thicker than before and, it was thicker before. Now I just feel like it's thin, even though I know I still have a lot of hair. Um, and it makes me sad because I'm like, why did my hair thin out? And it's like, we don't really know much about COVID, you know, but yeah, a lot of my hair fell out and I don't like it because I feel thinner, but it is what it is. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to wear a little braid because my hair gets frizzy when I get out of the shower. And I'm about to go out. Um, I never know what to do to my hair. I feel like I look better with my hair up, but um, yeah, I just never know what to do with it. So I got a coffee because I had a free one. I'm so I'm really trying to not buy any more iced coffees because oh my god, they are expensive. They are so expensive. But I had a free one, so I was like, I'm just gonna go get a coffee. Um, so I went to like a local coffee shop that we have here, and it's I love it. It's amazing. Uh, something about local coffee shops is so good. So I got a latte with almond flavoring. Mm, it's my favorite so good but okay we are on the way um to pick up my little sister she is so cute i love her so much um she's still at school well actually i think she just got out of school um so i'm gonna go over to my mom's and pick her up
Told you guys she is in Mex. She was in Mexico, so she brought me some Mexican hot chocolate to make. She always brings us one of these every year, and then she brought me some churritos. If you don't know what churritos are, these are so good. They're just basically like little toasted um, chips, I guess you could say. And you can put hot sauce, some chili on it, and, and it's so tasty. Nice snack. And then um, she brought me this so that I could stir my hot chocolate when I make it. So this is Mexican hot chocolate. It's the tablets. Um, and you make it, you put some milk. I'll show you guys. one of these it's like a chocolate tablet and you put it in the pot in the milk and then you let it boil and heat it up and it's super tasty and then you use this to stir it because you need to stir the hot chocolate and make sure it doesn't stick on the bottom of the pan and you can spin it so I'm a senora now apparently and then she got me this cute little mug basic and she put little candies in there she was so cute and then she got us some bun some bread homemade bread and of course some cheese it's wrapped up but you already know you already know so those are the essentials that she got us and I'm so happy that they're back. 